Hey guys, welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Luke, and today I've got the Apple Lightning to USB C cable. So, if you operate your Mac or if you're going on new iPhones, you can use USB C to Lightning to charge your phone faster. Apple claims you can get up to 50% charge in just under 30 minutes. So, we'll see if that works. But, yeah, guys, I've picked up, I actually picked up two. So, I can use it from Apple Watch and my iPhone. But these retail is around 20 25 pounds depending on the size of the cable. I've both got one meter cable. We'll probably open one up. As you can see, I've got one, but for you guys, I'm just gonna demonstrate the second one. So let's pull this stripe off and let's open it up. And so you got the cable and you've just got a little user warranty stuff, whatever that is. But we're not gonna look at that. We're gonna get straight to the cable. So it's a standard packaging cable. It's, okay, it's wrapped in this thing here. Just peel that off. Oh, these are so hard to peel off. Okay, so that's peeled off. It's a one meter cable, so it goes from USB-C to Lightning. So with this, you can get your fast charging. So that's really great if you're using, depending on what book, to get this charging, you need to use one of Apple's fast charging brick. You can use second-handed one as well and third-party ones. But this one is the, I think I've got the 29 volt here. Yeah, I've got the 29 volt. You can use your 60 watt and your 87 watt. So if you buy your MacBooks, you get those ones as well. You can use that. I've tried it with my MacBook and it works. So this is the smaller one, but yeah. What you do, you just plug it in and shoot charging, but because I don't have the plug near my table, I'm just going to use a power bank. So I've got a power bank here that takes USB C. So let's plug this USB C side in, and the cable is recognized there. And let's plug it into my phone, and it's charging, so that is working. We have no issue there, and mine's currently at 76%. So let's leave it like that, and now let's try if it works on the Apple Dock as well. Let's connect that in, take my Apple Watch off and put that into the dock and that's charging as well. So that does work, so that is a good thing. So guys, I'm going to connect mine to the wall outlet and see how fast it charges. So right now, as I've said, I've got 60, no, I've got 76% charge. I'm going to leave it on for 15 minutes and see how well that does. So it's at 3 past 2 now and I'll get back to you guys when it's done. So hey guys, it's been like 15 minutes now and my charge is at 86, so it's only gone up by 10%, like 12% charge has gone up, no, 10% because it's 76, it's at 86. So in that 15 minutes, it's only gone up by 10% of charge, which is, which shouldn't be right, but you check online, it's when it's from zero, it charges faster, when it goes to the higher number, it starts to slow down. So what I need to do, I need to put on full, let the battery drain down and then just try and give a full charge. But as of now, it is still work. It is faster than putting in normally because I normally believe for 10 minutes, it only goes up by like three or 4%. But right now it's gone up by 10%, which is really great. But yeah, it's really nice that you can get quick charging. It's been a long way to an iPhone and you can do this on the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, X, XS and XX Max, which is really nice. I know the kit is really expensive, the plug, if you have the plug then it's fine for your MacBook, but then if you have to buy the plug and the cable so you're looking around 50 to 60 pounds, which is on the expensive side. So for that reason, I'm not really, I really shouldn't recommend this, it's really expensive. I would just recommend getting a normal fast charging brick and then charging it normally it's much cheaper then you're not even spending a lot more you're just buying the extra brick which is 15 pounds on amazon depending on what brand you use you get the fast charging 18 watch ones which are really good but i wouldn't recommend this it's really expensive this cable itself is nearly 25 and the brick you're looking at 50 to 70 pound depending on what brick you get so it's it's nice but it's just really expensive would it be nice to see Apple include this cable in the box then? It's a different story, but Apple does not include that. It's just really sad. I don't know why Apple is doing this. But I don't think it's worth it. And I don't think you should spend this money, this much money on just some quick charging. Spend less and just get the normal brick or get a power bank, which is much better because then you got to charge throughout the whole day and a few other days with the power bank. 
But yeah, guys, that's just my opinion. If you have a different opinion, it's up to you guys. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next one, guys. Take care.